you want to just explain what's happened? I've never um, really explained on the channel about the time I broke my neck in Brazil. So easy provisioning for just two. Yeah. And we're off people. This is epic. And son, how lucky we Just hold me till there's no more pain And talk me right out of my brain Say the words in your own mind You get me every time, time, time Last week we were surprised by howling wind in our anchorage Forcing us to pull up anchor and look for shelter elsewhere This tends to happen on the leeward side of steep islands in the trade winds we headed south to Marina Rubicon, where Yosha jumped off and continued on our own adventure. We love you! Love you too! Then we got stuck into job after job in preparation for our big Atlantic crossing. What are we doing this morning, Vicky? I'm just getting the last of my travel shots. It's a very calm day, so we're both going to jump in the... What is this, Cunningham the third? Second, I We're think. not sure of the correct lineage, but... Um... <laughs> <laughs> Don't sound so professional, we're going to the doctors. It's in the way dinghy. down there, but it's good. It's a nice calm day, so we'll be able to burn down there. Come on! I was just freaking out so hard about Riley getting a needle that I didn't even film in the doctors, um, but how'd you go, Riles? Yeah, good. Clean bill of health and uh, inoculated. Well, let's hope you don't get a rash all over your face. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a big wake. Don't get too close, smarty pants. I'm trying to get out of the way. Right. You won't make it. They <laughs> thought they could beat us. So the trade winds are the prevailing wind pattern going from east to west. They're consistent enough that a whole bunch of different people congregate in places like this before going across the Atlantic. There's another lot of trade winds that operate in the Pacific. Um, the ones that we've got here are going from Africa to the Caribbean. It means that most of the people that you meet are all in the same boat, so to speak. It's good to see a whole bunch of different people all with the same sort of goal in mind. <laughs> Hello. With only a day or two left here in Lanzarote, we couldn't leave without having first dived a site called the Museo Atlantico. A bunch of sculptures placed on the ocean floor designed to generate an artificial reef. So Steve the legend has let us borrow his car today and we're going to go and get lots of stuff done so hopefully we can disappear in the next day or two. It'd be good to get out of this little area anyway oh, for a drive. Let's get the bags for shopping. Oh the shopping so bags. We don't waste plastic bags. Yep. Uh, I have a gas bottle that's just about this big. It's French. Propano. No, butter. Only butter. Solo butano. Yes, solo butano. All right, so what's the deal? They said it's only butane, which if you remember off the last boat, Elena, if you run butane through a propane system, which is what we've got and what we did on the old boat, you yeah. get soot. Yeah, that's black. right. We got soot everywhere, all over the dishcloths. So we could either fill it up with butane and deal with the soot or go with whatever we think is left in the other bottle and risk a bit of... Uh, well, we could cook some, like pasta in a pot on the engine oh <laughs> you can do that i don't know if i'm willing to risk this so there are our options i reckon just get a butane roger i reckon we might not even have to use it 
But then what do we do with it? We give it away to someone who likes butane and likes their soot, <laughs> like soot all over their dishes and dishcloths. <laughs> We're not being very efficient today, are we? <laughs> Did you buy proper bread making stuff this time or was it breadcrumbs again? Uh, no, I got the right stuff this time. Yeah, please note. Do you want to just throw the eggs on the bottom of the pile again? <laughs> Alright, we have to stop now. Things are getting heated. Nice. It's been a big day. <laughs> Safe to say we have got enough to last us a very, very long time. So easy provisioning for just two. One last thing we gotta do alone. We gotta go to the Chinese shop. <laughs> there is no room for Chinese takeout, I promise you. There is in my freezer. No. Same thing I did when I was solo sailing. Oh yeah. Go get a bunch of takeaway. Alright, if that's what you wish, I'll stay here and Okay, cleaning up. Yeah. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll get eight. So can I get a tofu with Chinese sauce? Yeah. Tofu with spicy sauce. Yeah. Vegetables in red curry. Yeah. Vegetables in green curry. Uh, put the mark on on the ceiling to a uh, curry bean. Bobby, Thank you very I'll much. See you next year. Yeah, thanks, man. Cheers. <laughs> What's that? I can only get two in there. Oh, they don't fit. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Fail. I told you they're not going to fit. We're going to have to eat them. <laughs> oh, bugger. I could probably eat them all tonight and tomorrow anyways. I don't know where you're No, about. that's a waste. We've got... Nah. Well, there's two in there. I can put two in there. Then I've got four left. I can eat two tomorrow and two the next day. Okay. Yeah. Just going to clean the last of the hull. The sun's just gone over the horizon and it's been raining all night. So... But we'll get this done and then we'll head off. I'm, um, good consistent wins for the trip, so I'm, I think we'll be right there. Coffee. Aki. Or oh, maybe this one. You reckon it's going to fit through there? No, not really. <laughs> Can you push? No, right. This is a dangerous game. Nah. Nah? Abort mission. I'll meet you at the front. Alright. A bit of an oversight by Ultramer, isn't it? <laughs> they haven't made their trampoline holes big enough for coffee. Apparently not. Come on, Matt Shoot. Oh. Alright, there you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> So Riley's going to jump in the water and scrape the rest of the hull. Why go and check us out of the country? And I do feel really terrible about it. <laughs> Frosting. Yeah. My feet aren't numb anymore. And we're off, people. Alright, do you want to tell everyone about the naughty naughty that we did? We didn't check out of Europe, which is a big one. We needed to leave today because we had a like the perfect weather window, and we went to check out, which we've been told that you can do that at the um, marina office there, 
and it turns out that today, for some reason, you have to go to a, a different town. It's not, it's not the first time we haven't checked in or out of somewhere, but um, I guess we'll see what happens. We're going to Antigua, and I guess we'll arrive and just be like, hey man, we're citizens of the world. <laughs> They'll be like, go straight to jail. Do not pass go. <laughs> The smell of land subsided as we headed further and further out into the deep blue. There would be nothing apart from the occasional flying fish for 2,772 nautical miles. So usually on the first night, the first night I cannot sleep when we're sailing. Like, um, just because, you know, I'm a little bit nervous and there's that little bit of stress and it just something in my brain just won't shut down. Always on the first night. By the second day I'm fine, but like, I just wanted to film this to tell you that, well, people want to see more real shit. So this is real, this is me feeling shit. Um, I'm trying to get to sleep and it's not happening. And yeah. I'll take care of it. Yeah, Riley always takes care of it for the first day and I'm really lucky and I love you lots, Riley. That's all right, I'm just happy to have you on board. Anyway, attempt number 27 this afternoon. <laughs> So the first drama that we've got is whether to go north or south of Tenerife. Because of the way the wind is and the waves and everything, it's sort of pushing us south of there, but I know south of the island we're going to have inconsistent winds. And it's more a matter of comfort. I think that we're going to turn into the breeze and head north of there. But that's going to happen right in the middle of the night. So Elena's having a bit of a schnooze here. So I think that'll be Elena's job. Twenty-four knots apparent. What is it? Twenty-four apparent. You walk on in, don't say a word. Get on mesmerized. You flick your head and look away. Eyes so pretty. Good morning, all. It's been one of those nights. Um, we've been tacking into the wind because we can either go under or over the Canary Islands. So um, I've got Tenerife to the left of me right now and all morning I've just been like pinching degrees here and there, um, trying to avoid another tack and just trying to get over the top of the island. So that's been fun. Um, <laughs> Riley's asleep, lucky him. And uh, yeah, there's some bad weather coming at one o'clock, but I've just spotted a bunch of dark clouds and the wind's just starting to pick up. We're supposed to get 30 knots of wind today, so that's uh, and it's only 11 a.m., so I reckon this is it. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Got your winds you wanted? Yep. And sun, and sun, how lucky are we? And there's a mountain back there. I always experience this overwhelming sensation of freedom each time I leave sight of land. Unlike many other forms of travel, with no buses or planes to catch, the time and date soon becomes irrelevant out here. All that's important is checking the weather, the sailing, food and sleep. I find it interesting how the days start to blur into one and it's only the significant events that seem to separate them. Do you want to just explain what's happened? Me and Elena were having a bit of an argument and I went to walk off and fell over and just totally headbutted the chair. I've never um, really explained on the channel about the time I broke my neck in Brazil. I paralysed my left arm for a, for a while and it was a very distinct feeling. All pins and needles went up my arm and I freaked out again because the same thing happened. And I grabbed my neck and I said, <clears throat> oh, my neck, my neck. 
that just happened so quickly and I honestly I just thought the worst and I was gonna turn the boat around and go back to the camp. <laughs> We're about 350 miles out from the Canary Islands and the wind's blowing us towards the Caribbean so we can try and turn around and go back. 